So um, now we need to select everything that we have in our deduction table in our database. So we're going to have try and catch, try, and we're going to have a catch here, like that, we can say catch, exception A, open close, and you're going to say J, option, pane, the show message dialog blah 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 null right and now in between this here just here um you're gonna paste copy and paste actually these two queries here so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna have the um deduction table and we're going to have the allowance table information about that employee. Okay? As you see here, we are selecting the ID, which is this ID here, of that particular employee. So now what we're going to do, we're going to calculate the net pay of that employee. So we're going to minus this from this, whatever. You're going to calculate everything, and we're going to have the net pay of that particular employee after the allowance and after the deduction. So we're going to say, we're going to have a net. We're going to say calc total equals integer dot parse int txt salary. So we're going to get the salary dot get text. That's it. And then we're going to have float. I uh, will say x equal float uh, dot value of or s dot get string 9. Which 9 is, uh, we're going we're gonna to go to our database and I'm going to show you what's 9. As 9 is the, there you go here, 9 is the ninth. column and our allowance table, just the total allowance. And then we're gonna say um int v equals integer the parse int and we're gonna say val which is here which is this which is the fifth column of our deduction uh, table. And then we're going to say um, float total equals cal total plus x minus v cal total like that. And then we're going to use this total here in our um, PDF. So now we're going to start by opening a new document. So, which is, a, which is our PDF. So we're going to say document, my document, equals a new document. That's it. And then you're going to say PDF. PDF writer equals my writer equals PDF writer dot get instance and you're gonna say my document right you're gonna say new file output stream and you're gonna say file path. I've got an error here. Uh, right, like that. Okay. So, now we're going to open our document so, to write stuff in it. So, we're going to say my document dot open and you're going to say my document dot close. 
and then you're going to say here j option pane dot show message dialog null and then you're going to say report was successfully generated and that's it so now we're gonna have we're gonna add the code in between open and close and we're gonna design what's inside our data our uh, PDF so the first thing you need is you need a new paragraph with it's saying that it's the page slab so we're gonna say my document dot add and you're gonna say a new paragraph and you're gonna see you're gonna open a bracket here and you're gonna say pay slip like that and you have a comma and you're gonna say font factory dot dot get font and you're gonna say font factory dot times bold and comma 20 uh, comma font dot bold whatever and you're gonna close it here so that will add the page slip in our um, PDF and the font will be 20 so now you're gonna copy and paste this here just like that and you're gonna say new date dot to string. Uh, there's an error here. Uh, yeah, one more bracket. Right. So now you have the base slip and you have the date. Now we need we need a line. So we're gonna do this here. We're gonna delete this and we'll have a line just like that and now um, we're gonna just right click and run generate uh, we're gonna go to desktop um, new folder here report was successfully generated okay Now we're going to open the folder. Um, and there is, there it is. Uh, double click, and there you go. Base slip with the date, whatever. And we're going to shorten this up, and we're going to remove the bold of this. So it's just going to go back here, and you're just going to delete all this, just like that. Right, and we're gonna reduce these. Right, let's say like that. Right, there you go. Right, <clears throat> now we'll add one more. Like let's say one, two. Oh, right, one, two. Okay. And now we need to just design the rest. So we're gonna just copy this here, this one, just here, just like that. I'm gonna paste it here, and we're gonna say. Employee details, and we'll need the name of the employee, this is designation, and the department. So, <clears throat> just gonna one, two, three. So, we're gonna say here name of employee, and we're gonna say plus plus, and we're gonna say value. And here, just like that. Alright. Value zero. That's through the percentage. There you go. So it's going to give us like the first name and the surname of the employee. So them. And then the, here, the designation. Let's say designation. And you're gonna say plus 
value to. And here we're gonna say the department and we're gonna say plus um, value three. plus value 3 and you're gonna go up here and just gonna add one more here value 3 equals txt there you go and you're gonna copy this here and you're gonna paste it here right so you're gonna save right click run and let's see the code here so let's see 5 generate uh, so desktop new folder here save okay close that and you're gonna go here there you go and now we just gonna edit um, this here these here three of them and just close it again go back and you're gonna go here and you're gonna add, so you're gonna do this like that. Oh, sorry. Uh, you're gonna come here. You're gonna do this like that. And you're gonna change the. F you're gonna change uh, the uh, font here. Let's say plain. Uh, plain. And lane and let's say the font is um, we'll say um, let's say 10 and it's just 10 it's just 10 and let's change this to 15 here for the title and uh, we just change it to times Roman times Roman times Roman and this one here times Roman. You're gonna save, right click, run, five, generate, you're gonna go desktop, save, okay, level click, there you go. Uh, looks better like that so now we're gonna design the salary so close it come back here um, just gonna copy this for the title and you're gonna say salary and we need the basic salary the overtime the medical the bonus and the other so I'm just gonna copy this here so the basic salary the overtime, the medical, the bonus, and the other, and we need the line here, just like that, right? So you're gonna say basic salary, and you're gonna say overtime, medical, um, bonus and other <coughs> other and these fields uh, we're gonna get uh, from the allowance so we're just gonna grab the table number of the allowance so if I say for example here in the allowance uh, if I said rs dot um, get string 2 means this ta the column number 2 in the allowance table so we're gonna go in here. She's just gonna delete these, just like that. Just delete these. We don't need these here. Right. So the basic salary is. We're gonna say plus calc total, which is here, the basic salary. Okay, and here we're gonna say plus rs.getString 
column 2 in our allowance uh, table. So plus rs dot guest string 2. Okay, so here if you go here to the database, this is this is two. So this is the overtime here. So we're adding the overtime here, and then you're gonna copy this with the plus like that, and you're gonna paste it here, and you're gonna say three, and paste it again. You're gonna say four, and you're gonna paste it again, and you're gonna say five in here. All right, then you're gonna save. Uh, right click here anywhere. Um, like that, run, and you can say five for example, generate slip, and you know desktop. Uh, you can save it whatever you want. I'm just saving it here just for the sake of it. Save, okay, close it. All right, and you're gonna go here. There you go. That's the basic salary. That's the overtime and medical bonus and other zero. So um, now we're gonna add in the deduction and the total payment. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna copy this again, and you're gonna say the deduction, and then you're gonna copy this here, whatever, and you're gonna paste it here. So we'll need the deduction details and the total deduction. So you're gonna say here. Uh, deduction details and you're gonna say the total deductions and you're gonna delete this here like that and you're gonna delete this here like that uh, like that All right just like that and here you're gonna say um, plus reason which is the reason here that we got and here you're gonna say plus val which is the value here and then you're gonna add in the line here just like that okay and now just do this like that and we're gonna need here um, the total payment, I'm just going to copy this again and paste it here and you're going to say total payment and you're going to need the total earnings and the net pay so just copy this here like that and you're going to say the total earnings and you're gonna remove the val here and you're gonna say plus rs dot guest string and you're gonna say 9 and here you're gonna say the net pay and you remove this here like that and you're gonna say plus total and here you're gonna go here and you're gonna say my document dot new page. There you go. So you're gonna save. Uh, oh, before you do that, you're gonna copy this here. You're gonna paste it here. You're gonna save. Right click. Run file. Five or whatever the employee you wanna test it on. Generate. And you're gonna go desktop. Um, and you're gonna go whatever. You're gonna save it to whatever you want. And you know, open it here. And there you go. There it is. That's the page slip of the employee with the details of the employee. You can use this code to customize it to whatever you want. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more, guys. Thank you.